Hey, what's happening YouTube? Tim Mackey here. In the last few days, I've got a lot of requests and questions about my particular setup and how I get my sound. In the past, I did a video about this, but some of my hardware has changed, and so I'll kind of go over that really quick with you guys. So, uh, before you get too excited and too far into this video, um, when I say cheap, I mean relative to other options. So if you watch guys like uh, Jared Dines and Fluff, you know, these guys are using $3,000 guitars into $3,000 amps into uh, state-of-the-art uh, setups, and they're professionals, you know, it's what they do. So you can't expect those kinds of sounds from this sort of setup, but this will get you well on your way to very good audio quality. So straight up right here, I got a Washburn Parallax. This is an Ola England Signature model. Very affordable guitar. Very good guitar for the price. So I'm going from my guitar into this Steinberg UR22 192 kilohertz audio interface. My interface is running into Reaper and um, my monitors are KRK Rocket 5s. Very good monitors for the price. I had Yamaha HS5s before and I preferred those. But these are, I don't know, almost just as good. They're probably a little bit more bassy than the HS5s. So they sound better while you're using them, but they're not better necessarily for mixing. Uh, as far as my plugins go, my guitar tone is just straight up Guitar Rig 5. I don't have any additional plugins on that. No HQs, no compression, no nothing. Everything is done from inside Guitar Rig 5 itself. And that sounds a little bit something like this. So again, that's just Guitar Rig 5, uh, nothing else. So it's very simple, really. Uh, I don't know really what else much to say. It's a guitar into an interface into, you know, Reaper. It's all very affordable, very simple stuff. I'm not going to be giving out my presets because people won't be happy with them. They'll want to change them. And to be totally honest, that's my tone. I don't want to give it away right now. So here's the one thing, though. You can't expect to... Um, get a really good sound with just a software. You have to have good hardware. Your computer has to be able to handle the tasks you're throwing at it so that it can run everything in HD. You have to have a good DAW, um, something that can handle your plugins well and efficiently. So get something with a good processor. It doesn't have to be top of the line. Um, it just has to be adequate. I go solid state drive just because I notice that that's a little bit faster with my loading and my write speeds. Uh, let's see here. Your interface. You know, don't get a cheap interface. Don't get one of those little like Behringer two channel interfaces that just plug straight into a USB. You're not going to get your best quality sound out of that. You're not going to get a very good preamp. You're not going to get very good signals. And therefore, you're not going to get the best possible tone out of your guitar uh, amp sim. So good computer, good interface, and then you're going to want to get good monitors. Don't use just, you know, basic multimedia speakers. I see too many guys running, you know, Pro Tools on $4,000 Macs, and then they're running just little, you know, two-inch speakers. Like, that's so ridiculous. It's, it's not even funny, honestly. So good speakers, good DAW, good computer. Um... You don't have to have the greatest guitar. Just, you know, do what you can. Work hard at it. Keep tweaking it. Your sound will get better. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. Keep rocking, guys.